Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be giving you our player ratings for Spurs' 2-4 loss against Manchester City as Spurs were 2-0 up in uh, at the break, but then the champions came roaring back in the second half courtesy of a brace from Riyad Mahrez and a goal from Holland and a goal from Julian Alvarez uh, that did the damage for Spurs in the second half. So we're going to start between the sticks in goal was Hugo Lloris had a pretty, pretty good performance today. Made some good saves. He was pretty good on one-on-ones today. Uh, dealt with a pretty good one-on-one -on -one against Holland, Holland in the first half. Uh, so I'm going to give him a 7. I thought he was pretty good. Uh, Maris, Maris's goal and his, his first goal. Man City's third goal to give to complete the comeback for them. Uh, Lloris did not really make a mistake from that. Yes, he could have been more alert at that near post. But... It took a huge deflection off of Ben Davies. Hit the bottom of his stubs. Completely changed the direction of the ball. Rian Mahrez completely intended that to go into across the goal into the far post. But it went into the near post because of Ben Davies' deflection. So he got really unlucky for that one. Uh, the only place where I think he could have done better was uh, Julian Alvarez's goal to get Man City back in it right after the break. Where um, the cross came in and Loris could have dealt with it better. Uh, but, of course, he had Jack Grealish on his tail, putting so much pressure on him, it was hard to deal with it. He could have done better there, but that was the only mo only downside of Hugo Lloris' performance today. Next, we're moving on to Christian Romero, the World Cup winner. I'm going to rate him a 7.5. It was a really good performance today. He shut down Holland in that first half, made a huge tackle against him. And even in the second half, he continued to do well. Um, he was on the complete opposite side of where all the danger was coming from. Emerson, Royale, Romero were all on the right side. That side, they did, I uh, suppose defense did brilliant to keep that side quiet. But it was, all the trouble came on our left side. So Cruz Romero was not on the side with all the trouble. Um, but really good performance from him, making so many great tackles. Especially that one, uh, against Jack Grealish in the first half when he was almost in. And Kutimura had to get the challenge right, otherwise it would have been t penalty. And he prevailed with a huge challenge to put the ball out for a throw-in. And he also made a couple huge challenges in the second half, too, and um, remained solid at the back. Next, we're going to move on to Eric Dyer. I'm going to rate Eric Dyer 6.75. Not as good as Kuti Romero, but held his ground in the first half. Uh, dealt with a lot of aerials. Well, I don't think he dealt with that many aerials, but when he did, he didn't do too bad. And then uh, made a crucial block in the first half to a Julian Alvarez shot. Uh, other than that, Dyer really didn't make any costly mistakes, but he did also didn't really do much well. Um, he was just holding his ground, but he was pretty solid at the back today. Our next defender is Ben Davies. Ben Davies had so much trouble on that left side trying to deal with Riyad Mahrez. I'm going to give Davies a 6. He was pretty solid defensively at times, especially in the first half. Second half all fell apart. Riyad Mahrez completely destroyed him on the left side. Um, really hard for him to deal with Mahrez for the third goal that City scored. Uh, Mahrez outpacing him, outskilling him, outdoing him completely. But uh, Davies could not deal with Maros on that left side. Uh, he could just... Davies, it was not his day. We tried to bring Longley on. We tried to bring Longley on for Davies since he was not... It was not the one of the best... Not the best of his days, but... Um, it completely went the other way around when we brought Longley on. That we we intended it to go... To, we intended Longley to impact the back line. And since Davies was not doing too well. But it went the whole other way. Uh, so, not the best of performances from Ben Davies. Now, we're going to move into our wing back, starting with Emerson Royale, who had a great performance today. Spotless performance from him. Uh, recently, I bet he's had a lack of confidence. Um, not really playing too much. Not been performing well. Nearly scored against Portsmouth in the FA Cup. Um, but today, he did score. He did score. That's his second goal for Spurs under his belt. Um, brilliant alertness and react quick reaction for the second goal that we scored his goal that he that he scored um 
Defensively, he was spotless. Like I said earlier on that right side, we did excellent dealing with all the trouble on that side. We did excellent dealing with Jack Grealish. Kuti and Emerson were so good dealing with Grealish. But I couldn't see the, say the same for the other side where Perisic and um, Davies now, which who we're going to move on to is Ivan Perisic. I'm going to rate Ivan Perisic a 5.5. Today, his attacking was superb. First half. One minute in, he was so alert immediately in the game. Um, and first half, he was just on fire, pretty much. Put in a couple good crosses. Uh, put in a good cross for a possible Harry Kane chance, but it was uh, defended brilliantly by the City back line. But then in the second half, everything went downhill for him. After City got two back and it was level, he had a huge chance that he, I think he should have put away. He chose power instead of being accurate. I think he should have been accurate there and hit the bottom right corner. Instead, he fired it right into the low middle of the goal um, where Lewis blocked it on the line and then went on to the crossbar. I mean, that was kind of unlucky for him, but he should have gone for accuracy there. Then, uh... In the second goal, like I already said, well, that after that mistake, Perisic had that mistake. Uh, after that mistake, after the mistake he made for the second goal, Perisic had that chance. For the mistake he made in the second goal, uh, he got completely outdone by Rian Mara. Same thing for the third goal. Um, he was just left in the dust. That's where it all went downhill for Perisic. And then in the 69th minute, he was taking off, taken off for Ryan Sessegnon. So to sum up his performance, really good in the attack. Really bad in the defense, and not good not good second half, but a good first half for him. Moving on to our midfield in our engine room, we have Hoybier, who was pretty good today, showing excellent work weight. I'm going to rate Hoybier a 6.75. Uh, very energetic today. Um, no Kevin De Bruyne in midfield. Uh, that He was on the bench today for City, so that made his job easier, but he still had a lot to deal with with the likes um with the likes of Gundogan as, and Rodri in midfield and even Alvarez Alvarez was playing in a cam position today and he was dropping back at times so Hoybier uh was pretty good today showing a lot of effort and work rate moving on to his partner who just came back from injury Rodrigo Bentancur I'm going to rate him a 6.5 not as good as Hoybier but he did really well for our opening goal Kulusevski's goal uh put good pressure I believe it was Rodri to make the mistake who set it up for Kulusevsky. So, uh, Ben Tanker did really well in the first half, showing excellent work weight, just like Hoybier. But then I think in the second half, he, he faded a little bit. His stamina wasn't there. Uh, and he was getting a little sluggish and lethargic. And then he was taken off for Basuma, which I think was the right choice. I think that's the result of him not playing in a while, just getting back from in injury. But despite the fact he just came back from injury, that's a pretty good performance from him. Next, we are moving on to Hyung Min Son in our front three. I'm gonna rate Hyung Min Son a six. Had a decent first half. Um, really didn't make many mistakes, but really didn't do anything good. He made the passes he needed to. Had one heading chance in the first half, but Son just didn't wasn't involved much. It was not his fault. It was just the most bang average rating from him. Well, not on his standard, but he didn't do anything wrong. Really, didn't do anything great. So he was. Oh, asleep, not asleep. He was alert, pressuring in the back, pressuring when he got back. But um, ball never came to him. We were barely playing off that left side. The left side we were defending a lot with Son and Perisic on that side. On the right hand side we were attacking a lot with Emerson Kulusevski. That's when we got most of our chances from, and Man City got most of their chances playing on our left side. So not the best of performances from Son, but like. I could have done better, but uh, the bang average, bang average performance. Next, we are moving on to the goal scorer, Dehan Kulusevski. I'm going to rate him a 7.5. Dehan Kulusevski did very well today, very physical. Um, I feel like he's getting faster, too. Uh, got a second goal of the season. I'm very happy for him after struggling with two injuries ever since. Um, really wor did well working down that right-hand side. Nearly got an assist for... Perisic has missed opportunity uh, in the second half after Man City clawed level 2-2. Two, two. Uh, but Kulusevski, that's where all... He was our attacking outlet. Almost everything flowed down our right side, which means everything, almost everything flowed down Emerson and Kulusevski. So, 
Brilliant performance from Kulusevsky today. Next, we're moving on to our striker, Harry Kane, who's two, still two goals away from breaking Jimmy Greaves' all-time Spurs scoring record. Pretty good performance from Kane today. I'm going to rate him a 7, but um, did get a goal to show for or an assist. Uh, did really well for the second goal to make that big slide tackle, and he knew what he was doing. He just took a shot on goal, uh, powered it at uh, Ederson. He just wanted to get into the danger area. He knew if he powered it, Ederson, he can force a mistake out of Ederson or someone in their back line, and it can fall kindly for a Spurs player, which it did for Emerson Royale. So, a pretty good performance from Kane. Moving on to our subs. Uh, they all, all four of them pretty much came on about the same time, but I'm only going to write two of them, the two of them that were in the most action. Starting off with Clement Longley, I'm going to rate him at 4.5. A really shambolic performance from him today. Huge mistake for the fourth goal. And as soon as he came on, I almost saw what was coming. He looked very shaky coming on. Um, shaky on the ball, shaky in the back line, shaky while defending. So not... A great performance, not the worst performance from Clement Longley. Uh, I hope, I don't think he's probably not going to start our next match next Monday. It'll probably be Davies again. Davies, who also didn't have one of the best days, but Longley, not a good performance from him. Our other sub that we're going to be rating is Eves Basuma. I'm going to rate him a 6.5. He made a positive impact. He was very physical, making good passes, good dribbles. Um, I think it was the perfect player we needed on for Ben Tenker. Uh, after he was getting sluggish, sluggish uh, as a result of him just coming back from injury. But Misuma did very well today uh, to come on when we were 3-2 down. A lot of our players were probably very demor demoralized, but uh, Ease Misuma did well to hold his ground in midfield. So overall for Spurs, it was actually a pretty good, pretty good performance. It was just on that left side, Davies. Davies and Perisic and Longley. Davies, Perisic, Longley, and... To some extent, Hyung Min Son on that left side. That's that side was where all the danger was for us. Right side was superb. Uh, Emerson, Romero, and Kulusevski were so good on the right side. Left side was the complete opposite. Um, that's where everything for Man City was going through, and we made so many mistakes on the left side. But right side was spotless. But that will conclude our play ratings for Spurs' 2-4 loss against the champions Manchester City. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, comment what you think about the game and your player ratings for this match. And until next time, come on you Spurs!